Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We are back with another What's Sold video. I'm actually at storage unit now. You can see behind me, that is a box full of kid socks I bought. Uh, that Ikea bag is full of stuff, and the other box is full of stuff. All that's listed, so we're going to get that put in the storage unit, and we're grabbing a bunch of orders. But you guys are going to jump into What's Sold. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas, happy holidays, all that great stuff. Spent some time with the family, maybe took a break from eBay. But don't take too long of a break, because uh, this business is one of those ones where... What you put in directly uh, correlates to what you get out of it. So keep up the good work, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care. Hey, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. We are back with the What's Sold video for Monday. Starting off, I think, with 10 sales here. All smalls. No clothing items, but pretty easy to ship, which is nice. If you heard my wife in the background, she just sneezed. So bless her. Um, anyways, we'll jump right in. The best sale is this Lay Crusette. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, little pot here. Has a little C marking on it. It's like a bluish color. If you guys know me, I'm pretty much colorblind, so I have no idea this could be purple. I think it's blue from what I confirmed, but if I'm wrong, I apologize in advance. Um, this was a great deal in a state sale. They were selling their family stuff, so it wasn't a company or anything. I basically made a huge pile. There were about four, three or four Lay Crusette things, a bunch of knives, um, Christmas decorations, some mugs. Uh, just odds and ends, like, different things. Uh, there's a huge pile I made, and I think she charged me, like, I don't know, 15 bucks. And I ended up offering her, like, 20 for everything, because I threw a couple more things in, and she took it. So she's a super sweet lady, and this is, like, the second thing to sell out of the lot. The first was a knife for, like, 12 bucks. This ended up selling for 85 shipped. I'll double, uh, double box it, and each, the top and the bottom, will get bubble wrap in their own box, and then those boxes will go into another box with some filler around it. So it will cost a little bit more to ship, but it still will be pretty small, um, and that's not too heavy. So we just want to make sure we protect it because this stuff can break. Here's a Vivitar S525 camera, 16.1 megapixels, brand new sealed. I forgot what I paid for this, maybe five bucks, something like that, seven bucks. That sold for like 32 shipped, not a ton, but it was brand new sealed, so it's just a really easy listing, and it's super light, so it should go first class. A Sony DVD-RW set of two little discs here, this sold for like nine shipped, uh, I think this was 50 cents at um, a Goodwill, surprisingly. And then this is a San Diego Goals hockey puck, the US Air, uh, this is a minor league hockey team. Um, in San Diego, so that sold for 15 shipped. I think it was just a throw in a box of stuff I had just threw it in the pile to add to the lot and then ended up selling, so that was cool. Here is a Nintendo Wii. This is the black console. It's the GameCube compatible one, the RVL001. Um, this one does not have the covers here. As you can see, there should be two little covers that cover these up. I still sold it, tested, and it works, and it sold for 30 shipped. I end up putting some cardboard around it, and then I put it with a little bubble wrap and a padded flat rate, and it sell, it ships out for $7.33. So I used to sell these as complete systems, but for some reason my complete system ones haven't moved, and everyone's buying the consoles by themselves. So I don't know what's up, but I'll keep doing like that since they keep selling. A PC game, Battle Strike Force of Resistance. This came out of the $1,600 lot. It's actually a brand new sealed game. I got two of them. That sold for $10 shipped, free shipping. Um, so it'll go like first class. It's pretty cheap. MX versus ATV on the edge PSP game Sold for $6.99 not a whole lot, but I had to replace the case on it, which I get a bunch of these cases and they cost like I don't know 50 cents to a dollar each or whatever. I forgot what it is But the case was broken on it. So I had to put a replacement one on uh, this is not a game It took a while to sell. It's not a game. I usually would sell for that low, but Usually I'm at $7.99, it's kind of my low, and I want to be towards more like eight, you know, nine or ten bucks, but this one sold for seven. So cool game here. PS3 Damage Inc. The Pacific Squadron. This sold for I think $16.99 or $17.99, somewhere right around in there what the pre-owned price was back at GameStop or whatever that sticker's for. Um, this was a $2 game at a garage sale, and I initially looked it over and I thought, I don't think it's worth anything. I'm not sure. Bought a couple other things, um, and then I went to the car real quick, and I was like, let me check that game, and sure enough, I saw that it doesn't sell often, but when it does, it's at least 12 bucks. I listed mine a little bit higher, and I got it, 17 ship, first class. Here is a Hellraiser Pinhead um, Comic-Con figure by NECA, I believe. Yep. Uh, this was in a big lot of video game stuff. It's from Storage Unica a way while back. I bought a bunch, like 450 bucks I spent on games, toys. Uh, Tamagotchis, all kinds of stuff, and this was in there. This is one of the kind of the holdout things. I've sold most of that stuff, and we did really well. Probably like 2,000 in sales, somewhere around there. 
Um, this came out of there as well, and it finally took a best offer of 60 shipped. It had it listed at like 80, so pretty cool. And then lastly, a Bible. They still sell. It's all about what Bible you have. This is a Holy Bible, um, open the Open Bible, sorry, by um, Nelson the Four. Was that 50? Uh, 456 BG. You can tell this one's got a real faded cover. It's supposed to not look like this. And there's supposed to be like the gold or whatever it is for all the writing on there. Um, definitely writing and stuff in there. That's not a problem, honestly, in, in my experience. Um, but this Bible ended up selling for 50 shipped. Oh, I gotta always check for pieces of paper. I thought I got them all, but you always want to check. And sometimes people leave money in Bibles, I've heard. I've never found it, but um, I've heard other people have, so... Um, like there's some writing in there. That's not usually a deal breaker. Um, this one sold for 50 shipped on a best offer. Had it listed at 80, I think as well, or 89, uh, which is what, is what it will go for if it's a really good condition. I listed mine at that price with best offer, just waiting for one to come through. Got an offer of 50 figure. That's the first offer I had. Let's get it out of here. Pretty good deal there. So look out for Bibles, but it's all about what one it is. And usually it's some special edition, um, one, but ones that have like the leather covers and have names on them, stuff like that. Usually they're worth looking up. Um, just to see what how they do. So that's all for right now. I'll show you guys anything else if it sells today. And if not, we'll jump into Tuesday. Hey everyone, we're back with the final sale for Monday. This uh, Land of the Dead Road to Fiddler's Green Game for Xbox. Uh, this was $30 shipped. I actually paid 10 bucks for this, but when I bought it, I hear you, buddy. We bought um, the NCAA 14 for 360 or for PS3. One of them, I bought that for 10 bucks as well. So I figured I kind of paid 15 for that one, 5 for this one. This sold for 30 bucks ship, but it is a good game to look out for. It sells pretty well. Hey everyone, back with uh, what sold for Tuesday. Um, six sales here today. It's a good mix of stuff. Some video games, some clothes, some toys, and a book. Um, pretty much a good, a good breakdown of what I sell, so that's good. And I'm always happy to get some clothes out of here. This is a PS3 Super Slim. It's like the 12 gig console, no controller, just the HDMI cable and the power cord. Um, this sold for 60 shipped, um, not too bad there. This is the same console, um, PS3 Super Slim, 12 gig, but this one comes with a controller, again, HDMI and a power cord. This one sold for 73 shipped. Um, hopefully more video game stuff will keep moving with uh, Q4 being here, so I'm happy to get rid of those. They both came out of a $380 buy from storage unit guy. We bought th four, three or four PS3s, three or four 360s, two Wii's, um, a 2DS, a 3DS, two DS lights, a bunch of games, a Game Boy Color, a Game Boy Advance SP, and a bunch of stuff. It was a great deal, plus games, plus a bunch of odds and ends. And these are the first of the couple things to get out of here, so that's good. Here is a box set, The Legacy of the Dro by R.A. Salvatore. This is a Forgotten Realms set. This was two bucks at... Um, I believe the book library sale I go to, I paid two bucks for it, and then it sold for like 18 chips. So pretty good deal for a box set there. This is from the $1,600 buy. It's a Star Wars figure, the Clone Commander Cody. Um, this one, I had it listed like 42. Someone offered 35. It's got somewhere to the top of the card, but I just went ahead and accepted it. Just happy to get rid of it. And then two shirts. This is a Pocahontas. Um, it's like a youth, I think, size shirt, or maybe an adult small. It's a smaller shirt. It's got some stains on it, some fading and stuff, but um, I paid a dollar for this from a guy who was selling a bunch of Disney stuff, and then this piece sold for full price 30 shipped. I listed it high because I knew it was an older one. I thought someone would come through and offer, you know, 20 bucks, and I could accept it, but someone paid 30 which was awesome. This is a Buffalo Bills, pretty plain t-shirt, NFL tee. It's brand new. It's from JCPenney. I uh, bought this from Storage Unit Guy with a bunch of Buffalo Bills stuff, jerseys, all kinds of stuff. I think I paid like 150 that day. I've already sold a bunch of the Buffalo jersey, Buffalo Bills jerseys and a Buffalo Sabres jersey, all kinds of stuff. This was some of the, uh, the leftovers. This was just a plain t-shirt. This sold for $17.50 on a best offer going to Florida, surprisingly. Um, and it is football season, and the Bills are actually having a pretty good season, so it's not surprising that someone would be interested. So that's all for now. I'll show you guys what else sold today if anything else comes through. Or what sold what sells on Wednesday. Hey everyone, we're back with the final sale from Tuesday. This is like a little Robo Junior uh, knife sharpener. This was just in a big box of stuff I had bought. Looked it up, listed it for ten shipped. It probably sold in three months. Uh, ten free shipping, so we'll make maybe four or five bucks on it. Not too bad. Hey everyone, we're back with the sales update for Wednesday. Pretty good day. I don't know how many sales. Maybe ten or twelve, something like that. Uh, nothing 
crazy, but a couple of pretty good stuff and one uh, bulk purchase I made that's really starting to pay off. So we'll jump right into what happened. Probably my favorite sale is this guy. This is a Simba plush. He's like a bigger one than you usually see. You usually see the small one or you see the bigger Simba. This one's kind of like medium size and it's like a lying down one. Um, I picked them up for a buck at an estate sale. Um, the lady always gives me the best deal. I think I paid like 10 bucks for a huge pile of stuff. This was actually in the closet with all the clothes and it was up in the top of the closet. She said it was a buck and I looked them up and this guy was pretty selling pretty well. Like 30, 40, 50 bucks which seemed reasonable. I was surprised. I listed mine for 60 or best offer, hoping for like a $40 offer on it. Maybe if I was having a slow day, take a 35, but someone paid full price, 60 bucks going global shipping program. So awesome deal there. Um, look out for that particular Simba. He does well. Here's a little Dymo power cord. This sold for like 14 ship. It should still go first class, I believe. Probably at around five bucks or something like that, but it was just in a big bucket of cords I had bought. I had bought it for some HDMI cables and some stuff that was in there that I could use. A couple other chargers. This was just in there, so I ended up lotting it uh, or listing it, and it sold for 14 shipped. This is a Brother TN750. This particular Brother model still does well. It's sealed. It's a sealed toner. Um, you can see, still sealed. I paid three bucks. I didn't open it. Uh, lady said it was sealed. She had another one that was opened, and she said it was new, but didn't look new to me so i passed on that one um this one was three bucks and it sold for 50 shipped um pretty much within like 12 hours so good deal there here's a 360 this is the slim model this one sold for 50 shipped no uh, controllers or anything i think it's like a four gig console if i'm not mistaken but 50 shipped on that guy um we'll do that guy last here is a nintendo 2ds black and blue system with a controller or controller with a cable charging cable no games does work it has like mario party or Mar mario kart i think already on the system but um the uh, there's no game or anything included that was from the big 380 dollar buy that i've mentioned i sold some ps3s recently that also came out of there uh this was a cool sale it's a 45 dollar carlsbad high school yearbook this is 2018 so a new one one of my sources had a bunch of um yearbooks that were for sale they sold them to me for 40 bucks for like 70 or 60 something yearbooks i forgot how many there was but um they were all newer ones they were from a person who worked for the company that makes the yearbooks and i guess they had all these different ones as ones they would use as examples when they're working with high schools and um, they had him that person lost their storage unit and then he got all these and um, i ended up buying them all for 40 bucks thinking well if i sell a couple for 30 40 bucks i'll make some profit um this is the first one to sell it sold for 45 shipped on a best offer i listed them mostly at 50 60 40 somewhere around there shipped i'm looking for 25 or over and they're pretty much going to be gone but i was happy for the 45 um, this one i actually pulled was the one that i wasn't supposed to pull because it has all this wear here um, you guys can't see it because i'm showing you my arm <laughs> but yeah so this one i actually won't be able to pack it off to grab it tomorrow because there was one that um, was in poor condition and i listed a uh, because I got like six of this particular one, and I'm supposed to not sell this one. This one's supposed to be one that I end up selling at the end when I have a sold all the good ones. So we'll actually toss this one back and grab a better condition one. But that did go out. Here's a Honda Wheel Locks. Paid two bucks for this at a garage sale. Crazy thing is about six months ago I was at their sale. I bought a PSP and some other stuff. I saw this there. He said two bucks, and I passed on it, and I was like, I don't want to deal with it. Uh, I don't know if it's worth anything. I looked this time I came around, I bought a PS3 from him and a, nothing else, but I saw this and he goes, two bucks? And I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. Good thing I did because it's all for 27 shipped. Here's a bunch of Xbox One games. Not a bunch, but four. There's like Dead Rising, Mad Max, uh, Sleeping Dogs, and one other one. Just discs only. Uh, Batman. These came in a lot that I had bought when I bought an Xbox One from one of my sources and it came with a bunch of stuff and I just parted it all out. These ones didn't have cases, so I sold them all for 25 shipped just as a disc. I'll put them in a couple of cases that are just blank when I ship them out for protection, but uh, no uh, no original cases with them. Here's a Zelda game. I think this sold for 11, 12, 13, somewhere around there shipped. It, um, Zelda for the Wii. It always sells well, not for a ton of money, but it's a good seller. Here is um, some more military gloves. These ones are brand new sealed. They sold for 18 shipped. Here is a King's like uh, promotional almost type jersey. It sold for 28 shipped. Um, this one, well, I think I paid like five bucks for it. I wouldn't have bought it again. It's taken forever to sell, but I was happy with the offer. Lastly is this, this Decon. 
um, ready mix baits. This stuff is actually like, they don't make it anymore. I think they pull it off most of the shelves. So it has like a really good value. I guess it's super effective. Uh, like in California, you're not even supposed to be selling it to anyone in California, but um, just be on the lookout for it because if you're okay with selling it, some of these sell crazy. I came into a whole bunch of these. I had to pay up with a bunch of other stuff, but I got like 24 boxes of this that are brand new, a bunch of little seal, other sealed ones that are smaller, and this first one sold for 95 shipped. So pretty good. I think it's going to New York or something like that or New Jersey, somewhere on the East Coast, but... Um, look out for these. I'll still ship at Parcel Select just because um, they're like sealed containers in there where the bait is. And I don't want like the pressure of like a plane or anything to affect it. So I'll ship them Parcel. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with that at 95 ship. So if anything else sells, I'll let you guys know. Hey everyone, we are back with the sales update for Thursday. Uh, pretty good day. So we'll jump right in. We starting off, we have this Shishido. Um revitalizing face masks these were from marshall's um they were ten dollars each i think i bought three of them and they normally were like 40 bucks gotta get the sticker off this one but i ended up selling this for like 31 shipped it's gonna go first class pretty easy sale there this is a starman omnibus dc book um this was a dollar at a garage sale and it's still in the plastic but the plastic has like some tears in it and stuff this sold for 40 shipped though um on a best offer so i listed as used even though it's still in this like plastic cover and it's possible someone just put the cover over to protect it so but 40 bucks shipped on that i have two of these hard drives there's one other one i gotta go get i didn't bring it but they two of these sold for 13 shipped on a best offer they're the 20 gig 360 hard drives really not even worth selling they had been listed a long time i just took an offer to get rid of them um here's a call of duty black ops game for ds sold for like nine ship just for the cartridge which isn't a lot but for a game that a lot of people probably wouldn't think is worth a whole lot on the DS, that one is. These are two lightsabers here. Um, there's a green one and a red one from Star Wars from 99. They sold for 22 ship for the pair. An old an old listing you'll see on the screen. Definitely one of those ones that's probably not worth listing in the future, at least not like this. Here is a DJ Hero for the PS2, PS3. Um, this goes to the little turntable thing. Um, I sold one of these just a little while ago for like 11 or 12 shipped. And this one sold for the same, so happy to get rid of that. This is pretty cool, this 3D connection, like little, almost like a flight stick, kind of Space Pilot Pro stick, I guess is what it is. I don't know if it works. I plugged it in the USB and it powered up and everything, but I have no idea if it actually works beyond that. I took a best offer, I sold it for parts, and it sold for 65 shipped. I had paid about five bucks, so a good deal there. This is just box B. No, this is a box of Legos. It's 10 pounds um, of Legos in here. I just had labeled it box B because I had two sets I listed. This sold for 60 ships, so six bucks a pound. Obviously, the fact out the shipping in there. Um, not too bad, just trying to get rid of all the loose pieces I have, make a little bit of money and get them out of here. Here's a 360 power cord. These still sell for me. This sold for 18 ships and only took maybe a month or so to sell. Um, comes with the both cords you need to hook up the brick so 18 shipped on that this will just go in a padded flat rate and then lastly here's this little doll um, I think I paid about five bucks for him with a bunch of other stuff um, there's the name I don't remember how to pronounce it but you'll see on the screen he was just like I said a big lot of stuff I threw him in and we made a deal for 25 bucks um, I looked online, there was a couple listed similar than like this, and I listed mine for 50 or best offer, and someone paid full price, 50 bucks. So happy with that. So we'll get all this packed up, and I'll show you guys what sold for the weekend. Hey everyone, we're back with a what sold video for the weekend. This is a Friday through um, Sunday sales, like 29 or 30 sales in total. We still have about three or four hours left on Sunday, so we'll see if anything else comes through. But wanted to get a um, good start on packing to get going on this, so we're going to get right in and let's go over what's sold. So we'll start off here with the biggest thing. This is Betty Boop. Um, she's like a light up wall display. She's made of like plastic, but, um, she came out of the storage unit guy by, I bought a bunch of stuff from him, from him. And this was thrown in. I think I paid 200 and something for everything and a bunch of Disney stuff and odds and ends. Uh, this piece alone sold for 87 shipped on the best offer, which was a pretty good deal. I had it listed at a hundred. And then someone like one state over offered 80 and then counter with 87 and we I agreed to that. So pretty good deal. Um, she's actually super light. Um, she'll end up being a couple of pounds by the time I get her all packed up. But not really that heavy for a big piece. So 
and it'll probably end up going FedEx based on size. So I think we'll still make probably 50 bucks on this when it's all said and done, so I'm okay with that. A couple other things. These are Hanes Tagless Boxers, size extra large, two packs. Bought those for 10 bucks at a um, estate size. So I had a bunch of stuff, and she wanted five each, which was a little more than I wanted to pay, but I ended up agreeing to it, and um, they sold for... 35 shit for the pair. Um, I don't think I'm going to get them into a padded flat rate, so they'll probably go at like the couple pound rate. Whoop, there goes one. Um, they'll probably go at the couple pound rate uh, priority mail, though. So pretty good deal there. Nothing great, but they were brand new, super easy to list, and I got so much in bulk that it was a, a no-brainer just to throw those in to add to the total. Um, here is a Radio Shack Pro 89 race scanner. It came with this power cord, which obviously doesn't look like it goes with it, but it is the same voltage and amps and everything, so it works really well with the unit. Um, I paid two bucks for the unit with the power cord, and then or three bucks, and then this sold for like thirty five shipped. Uh, I do. I also have the manual too. I had lost it. I couldn't find it, and then I listed it anyways, and then I found the manual just the other day. So. It's not included in the listing, but I'm going to throw the manual in there for free. Um, that way they'll get that. Hopefully they'll be happy. Um, here's another Dyson um, part. This is a little, I think it's called the elbow or whatever for the Dyson. I don't know. You'll see it on the screen. But this little piece came off a Dyson vacuum, and it sold for like 15 ship, 12 ship, somewhere around there. You'll see it. Here's some Home Medics. These are really cool replacement nano coil filters. They're originally $49.99. I paid like 3 bucks each at a thrift store that's known for being high-priced. And um, these ended up selling for 80 shipped for the pair. It's like $39.99 each or something. Uh, they'll go priority mail, but they don't weigh that much. So we'll still make a, probably a good 30 bucks on that. I don't know, pretty good deal. I'm happy with it. I wish I could find more. Here's a um, John Lynch Tampa Bay Buccaneers, like a Pro Bowl jersey. This was like 7 bucks when I was out in Florida with my family. And this sold for a best offer of 40 shipped. So happy with that. Here's a Veterinary Assisting Fundamentals and Applications book. I bought a bunch of books from a friend. I guess more friend and a source uh, for 50 bucks. He um, was trying to make some money, and I bought a bunch from stuff in the past, and it wasn't really a great deal, but um, I said I would do it. I got a bunch of music and stuff in there, too, I got to go through, but um, this was the best thing. This sold for 55 shipped, so I made almost all my money back on this one. There's been a couple other sales in there, I think one for 12 and one for 10 so far. So I probably made all my money back. I don't know how much profit I'll make. We'll have to see what the music stuff does. But this is a little bit of an older veterinary book. But for whatever reason it has some value. Here's a Care Bear. I don't know which Care Bear it is. You'll see on the screen. This was in a big Care Bear buy I had. I spent like 50 cents or a buck for each Care Bear. These are the older ones. And then this one sold for um, 22 shipped by himself. So pretty cool. Here is a... Um, I think this is a Hamilton Beach, maybe, um, food or a bread maker tin, a little pan. Um, I used to buy all the bread makers, and then I'd part them out. I just haven't found that many lately, but this one's been listed for a little while, but it sold for 30 ship just for this unit. I think I usually would pay no more than, like, four or five bucks for the entire bread maker, so pretty good deal. And then usually you can take the pan, you can take the little blade that goes around here, or it's also called a paddle, not really a blade. And then sometimes people take the doors off, too. I never did that just because... Of laziness, I guess. I didn't want to deal with it, but there is some money there too. So, a Sony memory stick. This was in a big um, electronics buy. It was like 10 bucks for everything, and this was just thrown in there. This actually sold for 20 shipped. It's not brand new, it's open, but it still sold 20 ship used. So, pretty cool. This is an Intech link cable um, for a Game Boy Advance. You know, this sold for 10 shipped. It was just with a bunch of video game stuff. Um, the rest of the stuff that these cords were like no, not worth anything, but I saw this one that looked in really good shape, and it sold within like a week for ten bucks. So easy sell for me. Here's a Lasco five-speed fan, um, little remote. I always sell these Lascos. Um, there's other brands too that you can sell like GEs and different ones, but look out for them. Um, these little remotes usually sell for anywhere from ten to twenty shipped. Uh, this one went for like fifteen. I think I paid a buck for it or fifty cents, something like that. Here's an iPhone box. This is an iPhone 8 plus 64 gig space gray. This sold for 11 shipped. I uh, pay a buck from one of my sources, and then usually I can get anywhere from 8 to 12 shipped on most of the boxes. So pretty good deal. A Chilton's Plymouth 1968 to 76. This is the Fury manual. Um, oh, there's a piece of paper in there. We got to get that out. I tried a lot of mad paper. I try to get most of them out, but every once in a while I'll find one that I missed, so I always double check. So I definitely miss this one. Is there another one? No. 
sometimes you can find money in books. That's what they say. I haven't done it yet. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, this thing sold for like 16 ship, which is pretty good for a Chilton's one because uh, most of these ones um, are not as obviously as desirable as the manufacturer one. So 16 ship, this was out of the big manual buy, uh, the $500 manual lot. It just goes in a bubble mill and it's on its way. So I'm always happy with these sales because we've already made all of our money back on the manual buy and now it's just all profit. This was in a recent buy from storage unit guy when I bought all of the... Um, a big bunch of video game stuff and that's where he usually puts all of his money for the when we're negotiating the price most of it is in the video game stuff so i try to build another box of just odds and ends when i'm there just trying to make some extra couple 5 10 15 20 dollar items i can throw in there that he doesn't really value that much so i can throw that into the deal usually for free and then i can make a couple extra dollars to make the deal better for me so this was in there and these sold for like 15 or 16 ships so just for three little manga books um, that I had thrown in that he didn't really value, so pretty cool there. This is a Bible. It's got some, like, overspray, I guess, from painting, it looks like. It's a Senior's Devotional Bible by Zondervan. This one's sold for, like, 28 ships still. Um, it's got writing. It's got stuff in there. What you want to do when you look for these, look for special edition ones, certain um, notations or different things in there, index a certain way, and those are the ones that usually have um, extra value. So look out for those. Uh, we'll go to some media. Here's a Dragon Ball Z Game Boy Color game that sold like 11 shipped. Carols of Christmas. Hallmark Carols of Christmas. I think this ended up selling for 12 ships, something like that. Um, there were a bunch of listings, and I listed mine kind of right in the middle of the pack, and mine ended up selling, so I'm not sure why. Um, Arthur Saves the Day. This is a movie that I bought a bunch of movies and CDs from one of my sources, just kind of throw in, and I scanned them all, and this one scanned well, and it sold for like 15 shipped. And it had like six watchers the whole time it was listed, so I was surprised for one kid's DVD. Um, here's a Monopoly game. I already a new case. This one was busted. I think it's in the listing that it's broken, but I have more of these, so it's not a problem. This game sold for like 14, 13 shipped, so pretty good. Kingdom Under Fire for 360 sold for 11. And this is Super Mario Galaxy. I paid a dollar for this one at a garage sale. Just the disc. It is tested and working, and that sold for, I think, 10 shipped disc only. Here's a Statler, Statler, Marsmatic 700 set. I paid 10 bucks for this, and it ended up selling for like 45 shipped. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. It doesn't appear to be new, but I listed it as used, as is. Just said, hey, it doesn't appear to be used, but I can't be for sure. So um, this brand, some of this stuff does really well, but I've got 45 shipped for that. Here's a Wii console. It is the GameCube compatible. This one went for 30 shipped, tested and works, no parental codes or anything. It is missing the little um, cover for that part of the Wii, but that's okay. Um, we got this Mr. Christmas, I think it is, little carousel guy here. This also came from Storage Unit Guy when I bought the Betty Boop. Oddly enough, they sold the same weekend, so that's kind of crazy. Um, you can see the yellowing. That's the kind of downside of this, but it does work. It powers up and lights up, and these guys go up and down. Um, this was listed at 50 or best offer. No. 50 free shipping, I should say. No best offer. Some of them in the box. And I had the box at the storage unit, but the box was just destroyed and it's huge. So it really wasn't worth it. I just took this piece out and um, this sold for 50 shipped. They had a bunch of watchers. People kept offering me 40 through messages and I just was holding out because Christmas was coming. And I figured someone would pay full price and they did. So I'm sure it looks great on display for Christmas, aside from the little bit of the yellowing here. But you can probably hide that um, when it's set up. So... Um, we got some Sorel boots. These are like the caribou ones. A little bit of dirt on the bottom there we should clean up. They're used, but I took a best offer of 45 maybe? I'm not sure. I think 45 or 40. You'll see on the screen. Um, these were from Storage Unit Guy as well. I bought a bunch of stuff. Again, this these were just thrown into a big bucket. Um, he didn't really put a lot of value on them. I just threw them in there, and then I don't know what I would have into them, but it just adds to the good, make it a better deal, and I sold those for 45 and then the last thing right here is all this Decon um, Ready Mix baits. You guys have probably seen this by now in another video, um, at least one that I've sold or I mentioned in one of the, the beginnings of one of the sales updates, but I bought all this from Storage Unit Guy. It was a huge purchase. I spent $900 on two cases of these, plus a bunch of extra ones like this, plus a bunch of chess pieces from Franklin Mint, plus all kinds of other stuff. It was a big purchase, but a good deal. Um, these ones in the box were selling for 95 ships, so that's what I got for all these. One person bought one, and one person bought three, so we'll actually, 
um, save a little bit on shipping that way. And then this little set is basically what's in here, but these ones do not have a box. Um, it's four sealed, and that's how many you get in the box. These four sold for 80 shipped, um, just like that. So this stuff is pretty good. You can't really sell it to people in California, I guess. And there might be another state. I guess it's some places have um, taken it off the shelves, or mostly taken it off the shelves, so that's why you can't really um, get it anymore. But apparently it's really good stuff. So I'm not saying go out and buy it, but definitely look into it and maybe do your own research. But it has been a good deal so far for me. Um, like I said, this ends up being like... I don't know, three, six, like probably 450 somewhere in there in total dollars um, for all this. So that's a pretty darn good deal in my opinion. So I can't complain about that. And there's still more to sell. If anything else sells today, guys, I will show you that next. If not, thank you for watching and I hope you guys are doing well out there. Hey everyone, final sale from the weekend. This is these little Yu-Gi-Oh! I think they're like little DVDs. There's four of them. Um, they just came in a big buy. I think it was I buy from storage and a guy, if I'm not mistaken, they were just thrown in there. I listed them for $29.99 or best offer, and someone paid full price. So they will go first class, happy to get them out of here.